Hello everyone, my name is EbilsVox and welcome to the first of hopefully many videos on customizing Windows 8 and you know just a couple Windows 8 hacks and tutorials to just kind of get it back the way you or I at least would like it to be. The first program in this, well the first program for the only program for this video I'm going to be showing off is 7 plus taskbar tweaker. This of course started as a Windows 7 customization program but is now a very good Windows 8 one as well. Just simply download the installation file here and then go ahead and run it. And I uninstalled it so I could run it for the purposes of this video so we're gonna walk through the installation as well. Standard installation, don't want a desktop shortcut because we're gonna set it to start up every time we run Windows. That way it's gonna customize our taskbar, all good to go. To set things clear here, I am running the default Windows 8.1 taskbar. If you are not upgraded to Windows 8.1, you absolutely should for many reasons, including security issues, as well as getting the start button back. I will show you how to replace the start button with the old school start button later, if that is what you wish. And then I have it in, if you go to properties, I have it in small taskbar buttons mode. So that's why it's a bit smaller than normal. We're going to hit next. Until I did install to the default location, and then it'll automatically run it and set it to run at startup. Good to go. Hit finish. It's gonna pop up here. These are what things are gonna look like for you. It basically the default setup for these options because that's what Windows is default set to. Settings that I like to use, and this is a really powerful program, so you can do pretty much whatever you want to it. These are just my settings. For taskbar items, and when you right click, instead of popping up the jump list, which is in Windows 7 when you just kind of dragged up on the taskbar bar, I do standard window menu. So when you have it open, you right click, it actually brings up the window menu for it. That's really useful. Middle click, I set it to close. By default, it opens another instance of the program, so it opens a second window of it. I prefer to make it close, so it's like Google Chrome. When you, when you middle click a tab, it closes the tab. I like that on here as well. Dropping, I just set it to pin to by default, that's perfectly fine. So basically when you drag a shortcut or a file to a program, it pins that to the jump list of the program. Hovering shows the thumbnail preview, that's perfectly fine. I do like to be able to drag and reorder the thumbnails, which are, you know, this little preview down here, and then left clicking on them if they're already active, it will minimize them. Pinned items, which are all these things right here. The best setting, the best setting for someone like me, if you're anything like me and have a lot of programs open at once, is this remove extra gap between items option. Bam. Take a look at my taskbar. This is default. Checked. Default. Checked. Doesn't change your icons, doesn't do anything, but removes this little extra spacer space between them, and suddenly you have so much more taskbar real estate. And if we make, if we lock it, and make it a double wide small icon taskbar, you're never gonna run out of taskbar items with this. I'm gonna drag this back out like it and lock it again. And then you can set it to double click to open them, I don't like that. Grouping I leave at default. Combining, this is where you kinda get some cool stuff. I use the taskbar default here, but then decombine on active group and mouse hover and then I enabled show labels as well. So this is really cool again when you have multiple instances of, pro of a program open so I'm gonna try to figure out a program which I could do that with. Uh, my best option was always in Microsoft Word whenever I had multiple documents open but since I don't use that anymore I guess we'll pull up LibreOffice Writer here and try to emulate the same thing. So. And in case, you, if, in case you're wondering why I don't use Office, it's not because I think LibreOffice is better per se, it's because I switched to Google Docs. So we're going to type in here, open up another instance of LibreOffice, and then type in there, and you can already see it doing something, and then we're going to open up this press release, I think, from the, yeah, the hackers TCG. Alright, so by default, even when you're on the LibreOffice window, down here at the bottom, all of the buttons are combined, and then... Here, if I reset this back to default, in order to change them, you have to click, and you gotta change them, and you gotta click. To me, you save a lot of time if you tell it to decombine on the active group and mouse hover. So now this taskbar tweaker window is still the active window, but then when I mouse over, 
it spaces them out, puts the labels there so I know what documents what, and then I can choose, and then while this program is open, and only while this program is open, I get the three different buttons down there, so I can easily switch between them without having to wait on anything. Fantastic option as well. Have some options for cycling things with the mouse wheel, I don't really touch that. I mean, it's useful to have, but nothing really important. Double click on empty space to open the task manager, why not? So down here, so you don't gotta right click and go to task manager, you can just double click and have a task manager. Kinda useful. You can hide the start button. I don't want that, because I didn't like the default Windows 8 without at least a button down here. Hide the show desktop button. Kinda useful, I guess. Display seconds on the clock there, and then you can reserve empty space. I'm not entirely sure why you would want that, other than you just want a, sp you know, a set distance between your system tray and your taskbar items, but you can do that if you want. And yeah, that's how you get a super clean and a bit more conversion, a super clean taskbar and a bit more control over your taskbar in Windows 8 and 8.1 and even Windows 7. And I will show you some cool things next in the next video, such as this um, file browser here. Uh, changing your start bar, changing your cursor, things like that in future videos. Let me know anything specific you would like to see in the comment section below. Let me know what you enjoyed about this video in the comment section below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Epos and Chew. Let's play together. If you enjoyed the video, consider clicking on the screen to subscribe now. To watch another video, click one of the video annotations on the screen above. Links are also provided to our website, Twitter, and Facebook pages. See you next time.